protecting privacy, the General Assembly has passed a bill making Illinois the first state in the nation to regulate automated license plate readers or ALPRs. And our Shabnam Dinesh joins us live in studio. So Shab, how exactly is this bill protecting the health care privacy of out-of-state visitors? As I will, Rebecca Durante, Secretary of State Alexi Janulius is hailing the passage of HB 3326, which protects license plate data for of out of state residents traveling to Illinois for reproductive and sexual health care. Now, Planned Parenthood of Illinois says nearly 25% of their patients come from other states. And before Roe v. Wade was overturned last year, that number ranged between 5 and 7%. Janulia says Illinois is surrounded by states with laws he says are hostile to abortion and gender affirming care. And right now, there are no regulations surrounding ALPRs and states regularly share data for law enforcement purposes. He says the sole function of the cameras is public safety, not violating individual privacy. Illinois is drawing a line in the sand. We will not allow people to be targeted for visiting our state to procure legal, legal health care. It comes down to basic rights and ensuring that those rights, including important health care choices, are fundamentally protected. And that bill now heads to Governor Jay Pritzker's desk for his signature. All right, and Shab, and also, what is the latest with the period Planned Parenthood that was vandalized some time ago? That's right, and as you probably remember, last back in January, um, an arsonist uh, caused fire to that Peoria Health Center, which still remains closed. And that Chillicothe man has since pled guilty to federal charges. Now, Jennifer Welch, the president of Planned Parenthood of Illinois, says the building was a total loss, but they will rebuild and recover. We do intend to reopen the health center that was destroyed by an extremist arsonist this year. We are absolutely making Illinois a haven, and it is still dangerous for Planned Parenthood to operate in this state. We will not, we will not give in to extremists. And now she says first responders were able to contain the fire, but the building suffered extreme smoke and water damage. And she anticipates the Peoria Health Center will reopen sometime next year.